Hi, this is Sonam Wangchuk from the Trans Himalayan mountain deserts of Ladakh. We are going to celebrate the rain day on the 29th of July. But some of you may ask, what rain day? You live on a desert that has only four inches of rain and snow combined. Well, I always say, if you want to know the value of health, ask a leper, not a wrestler. If you want to know the value of wealth, ask a beggar, not a prince. And if you want to know the value of every drop of water, ask a Ladakhi, not somebody from the Amazon. So here in these vast deserts, which look more like a moonscape or a marscape, life is possible thanks to the glaciers. Actually, in this region, people dread rain more than desire. But that's because rain doesn't come when the people need it most and it comes pouring down when they fear it most, causing flash floods and lot of damage to life and property. The only reason life has been possible in this moon-like terrain is thanks to the glaciers, which has accumulated snow over centuries and when it melts in spring and summer the farmers get the water they need to grow crops like barley, wheat, fruits like apricots, apples and vegetables of all kinds. But, and there is a big but, these glaciers are now fast melting away thanks to climate change due to human activities. And in 30 or 40 years, all these glaciers are expected to vanish. And then we will be left with two options, either to flee this land and become climate refugees or learn to live with rains, however small it is. And that's exactly what we are trying at our alternative school and university. We are experimenting with different special techniques to harvest the little rain that we get here in the desert and grow indigenous plants that require very little water and thereby see if we can create forests of indigenous plants which will in turn help absorb the heavy rainfalls that cause floods and thereby prevent the damages of flash floods and the water would soak slowly into the hill slopes and release in moderate amounts for longer duration hopefully thereby making life possible once again that's the best we can try. आज मैं लदाख के नेटिव प्लान को उगा रही हूँ क्योंकि हर जगह पेड़ों को काटे जा रहे हैं और जंगल जल रहे हैं. Today I've planted many plants like this one, like the seabuck thorn, so that we can get oxygen more and more. So I live in Michaji's land. To resource for management, to look young and young, to make sure that all the forest will look after this land. To fight climate change. So those of you who have much more rain than we have, do please accept this message from a desert tribal from Ladakh and do please take care of every drop of rain because that can make the difference between a desert and an oasis. Please live simply. Please live simply.